Voila again, guys. It is now about one in the morning, and um, I heard Fuzzball in the bathroom kind of crying. What is going on? And um, I forgot that they're like infants in that they eat a lot. Thankfully, I am well stocked for food, uh, thanks to Dollar Tree, 99 cent only, but I haven't had a kitten in the house in 14 years. My big girl, Janie, uh, we adopted her when she was a year old. So, I mean, towards the end of her life, she became a kitten all over again, which was awesome to see right before she got sick. But um, I never saw her as a little fluff ball. And um, I haven't had a kitten in too many years, so I can't remember their personalities. And Ozzy is awesome. He's in the bathroom right now. Uh, he's been in there uh, since he came home around 5 p.m. Uh, but me and my oldest keep going in there and petting him and, you know, talking to him and just letting him know, you know, he's going to be okay. He's not going to be hurt. Uh, but I have his litter box set up for him on one side of the bathroom and his little dishes, which I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I'll insert a picture at the end because I had to feed him. They're these little white uh, uh, ceramic bowls with um, camouflage on the bottom because he's a boy cat. And um, he got camo. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm a little nervous because he's so small. He's weaned, so he's not itty bitty teeny tiny. But we spent some good time in there between me and my oldest uh, playing with toys with him and watching him shred toilet paper already. I forgot about that, but. He's really sweet. Uh, a few hours ago, he started meowing at me. When he saw me, he started meowing at me. He seems a little friendlier with my oldest. Um, I'm a little nervous about Caleb coming home tomorrow because he's six years old and a little tornado, you know. So I'm going to have to teach Caleb. I've already prepped him, but it's different to tell him. It's different telling him than showing him. So I'm going to have to show Caleb. You know how to be gentle and how to be patient basically because caleb wants a kitty he's just gonna he caleb thinks he's gonna come home and the kitty's gonna be here and he's gonna be able to hug him and kiss him and all of that and i'm gonna have to you know school caleb on give him a little time be patient he'll come around he's small and he's nervous and scared and uh the kitty's gonna have to learn caleb so they're gonna have to get to know each other and i'm a little nervous about that but he seems like a very, very sweet cat, very sweet personality. And I know Caleb just loves animals and he's very good with listening in regards to learning new things. So I think it's going to be okay. Um, I did have an anxious moment there where I was like, what if the kitty doesn't like us and never warms up to us and he sleep, sleeps in the behind the toilet forever because he's behind the toilet. Guys, I have a nice little setup in the bathroom for him. But he's behind the toilet. I get it. He's nervous. But he comes out when he sees us and he's eating really well. And he's already eating pooped in the litter box, which is awesome. So he seems he seems happy yet nervous. But uh, to all my cat mommies and daddies out there, if you have any advice for me in regards to how I can make him feel more comfortable at home. I mean, I've done all the reading. The lady who gave him to me, she works for a cat rescue group so she gave me a whole lot of information but it like i like i say about caleb it's one thing to hear it and another thing to actually do it and i've always had animals do well in my care i'm just he's so little so adorable and if it wasn't so late i'd go in there and snap some photos of him or video but uh i think i'll attach um some at the end of the video too but i just wanted to come on here and say we got a new kitty I know I had mentioned it and now Dollar Tree has become more important for me and 99 cent only because my goodness gracious there's a plethora of pet supplies there a lot of you already know a lot of you don't but I'm telling you so I'm gonna go into I'm gonna show you guys the kitty supplies that I picked up and then I'll show you guys the stuff that's non kitty supply um kitty supply wise at Dollar Tree I picked up a little mouse toy it's a little hole with a little dangly mouse 
This is the only one that didn't have a whole bunch of little hanging things that I think he'll rip off and try and eat. But um, I remember having these for my Janie girl, and she really liked them, so I grabbed him one. Grab the little pooper scooper, even though I'm using the liners with the slits in them, so all I have to do is pick it up and the ookies stay in there. In case the ookie doesn't want to cooperate, I picked up one of these. I got him a threefer bag of toys. This one I thought might make him nervous right now. This one didn't seem very fun at all, but there was a little green felt type ball with little sand in it uh, that he is having a ball with in there right now, so I've already opened this up. For him. I picked this up at Walmart earlier. He was not happy with it. I think it freaked him out. I'm thinking I'm trying a little too hard too soon. Uh, but hopefully he gets into this one later on. And then I picked him up this tiny little hamster, mouse, whatever this is. I couldn't resist. I went ahead and picked that up. And then I picked him up his own little bin because this is going to be Ozzy's toy bin. Caleb has a toy box. Ozzy's going to have a toy box. And uh, this is where all of his little stuff is going to go. And of course, I got blue because he's a boy. Uh, what else? What else is cat related? Friskies. Now, he's eating dry food, which I can't get at the Dollar Tree. They started him on Science Diet, Science Kitten. Which is fine. I'll go to PetSmart tomorrow and pick him up some. But he is eating wet food. And the lady who gave him to me said she swapped between Friskies and Fancy Feast. And he didn't seem to have any, you know, digestive issues, you know, or anything like that. So I saw the Friskies at Dollar Tree. And this is what I used to feed my Janie girl. So I got him a few cans of Friskies. I got him four cans of Friskies. One is actually holding my phone up. So, y'all yeah, see, I'm on the floor. I'm where I need to be because this is where everything is at. But I picked him up some friskies. And is that everything I got at Dollar Tree? Yeah, that's everything I got at Dollar Tree that is kitty cat related. Now I'm going to hop on over to the 99 cent only and show you guys what I got there that's kitty related. Um, I got this mat because I wanted to, you know, set out a little specific spot for his little bowls his little um, kitchen area his little eating area and I grabbed this and then I thought you know what this is going to be a pain in the butt if food falls on it if water falls on it if he gets in one of these you know what I don't want to use a litter box I'm just going to hear kind of moods cats get in and I know cats don't poo where they eat but sometimes cats get ornery and I never know like I said my Janie towards the end there she was an older cat and she had little some incontinence issues so she kind of just started going wherever didn't matter whether it was near her bowl or not poor little thing so I kind of left <laughs> I kind of got left with some battle scars in regards to kitty cats peeing in strange places so I seriously doubt that this kitty would pee on this but I just don't want to have to wash and wash and wash so I'm going to use this for something else but what I did pick up for him don't laugh okay I picked this up for him this is going to be his placement. This is where his little bowls are going to go. I was trying to find something a little more masculine, a little more pet appropriate, if there is such a thing. Uh, and I found a lot of stuff that I could use, but then I saw this and I couldn't resist. He's a baby anyway. He's a baby cat. So I grabbed Ozzy one, and then I know Caleb would trip, so I had to pick Caleb up one. Because the last thing I need is for a six-year-old to be jealous of a cat. Um... So that's where Ozzy's little bowls are going to go. I picked him up a little reflective tearaway collar. He may be too small for this just yet. I'm not sure. I haven't taken it out to adjust it, but um, it may work. And I really need it for the bell because tomorrow I'm going to open up the adjacent door to my bedroom and let him explore in my bedroom, you know, room by room, little by little. Uh, I don't like the idea of him being in the bathroom. Um by himself so I want him to to just you know spread his wings a little bit and familiarize himself with the house but he's so tiny I need to hear him because I ain't tiny and if I smush that poor little thing oh my gosh um what else did I get for him I picked him up some fancy feast because um our, the doctor said that that I, it's the doctor it's a doctor at my clinic so that's why I'm saying the doctor the kitty's like not sick or anything but 
Um, I picked up some fancy feasts for him because she said that she had been given him fancy feast along with friskies just for variety's sake. So I picked up four little cans. He's already gone through one today. He came home around five o'clock and he's already gone through one. I actually just gave him a little more because he was mewing in there. And like I said, those midnight feedings, uh, he's a baby. So I grabbed him that. And I think, oh no, and then I picked him up this bunny and I wanted to set it in his little bed with him because I went to Walmart and I got him a bed and his litter box and all that. And I wanted to set the bunny in the bed with him because he's used to sleeping with his little um, brothers and this will be his first night that he's sleeping alone. I can't imagine behind the toilet being comfortable, but he's not warming up to the bed just yet. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to go lay this down uh, on the carpet in the bathroom, maybe near where he's at right now so he can have something to cuddle up on. I hope it doesn't terrify him, but this is about the size my cat is. Um, so I'm thinking maybe he'll cuddle up to it. I hope not. I mean, I hope so. I hope it doesn't scare him. So that's everything kitty cat related that I picked up at the Dollar Tree in the 99 cent only. Now on to the non-kitty cat related things, uh, which aren't very interesting gallon freezer bags that's from the dollar tree some more tissues that just happened to be frozen i didn't pick them because they're frozen they just happened to be frozen so i picked that up oh sorry guys i picked up two of these uh drying mats for my mom because she really liked the ones i have so i picked uh two up for her and then i picked up another one of the purple kneeling pads because when i was out there pulling weeds and trying to play miss Mary Green Thumb, Caleb um, didn't have one, and I didn't want him out there hurting his little bony knees, so I grabbed him one. What else? Um, this is all Dollar Tree, by the way. Bounty Basic. I only found one, which kind of sucked, because I really, really wanted more of the bounties. And then I found this that, um, oh my goodness, she... Oh. The name she has the cutest friggin accent um i picked up the smart peeler and i think this is awesome because i peel cucumbers and carrots a lot and all your little uh shavings end up being trapped in that little cylinder so i thought that was cool and i was really like geeked out that i finally found something there that a lot of you guys are hauling that we didn't have not only did i find that I found something that I have been wanting for the longest time. The little piggy and monkey lip glosses. I have no idea if the product inside of these are good or not is good, are good, is good or not. But I was just so geeked out that I finally found them. And they had them at the bottom of the shelf, the very bottom shelf at the register. If I hadn't just happened to look down there, I wouldn't have seen them, but I was so, so happy. Now, I had seen pencil sharpeners that looked like this, but they're pencil sharpeners, so I'm really geeked out about this. Grab that. The last few, the last few things, or the last, yeah, the last few things I picked up at the Dollar Tree were more books. More books, guys. Uh, Anatomy of Injustice, A Murder Case Gone Wrong. They try, charge, and give uh, an African-American man life for a murder he didn't commit. It was just bad from the get-go. Just wrong, wrong, wrong from the get-go. Um, it's a true crime th thriller. So it happened in Texas. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on with that. Um, the Bartender's Tale. Tom Harry has a streak of frost in his black pompadour and a vintage venerable almost said venereal and a <laughs> venerable bar called the medicine lodge tom also has a son named rusty an accident between the sheets whose mother deserted them both years ago but together they managed just fine until the summer of 1960 that is when rusty turns 12 change arrives with gale force in the person of proxy a taxi dancer tom knew back when and her beatnik daughter francine is francine as proxy claims 
the unsuspected legacy of her and Tom's past. Without a doubt, she is unsettling gust of the future, upending every certainty in Rusty's life and generating a mist of passion and pretense. As Rusty struggles to decipher the oddities of adult behavior and the mysteries that build toward a reckoning, Ivan Doing wonderfully captures how the world becomes bigger and the past more complex in the last moments of childhood. Did I ramble on too much? I may have rambled on too much. I guess I should have read what I was going to relay to you guys earlier, but it's like 1.30 in the morning now. But uh, it sounds good. I hope that this man's son and the daughter don't have something going on before they realize, hmm, we may be related because that'll like totally gross me out. But, um, and then I got the interruption of everything. Marilyn Grimes is a wife, a mother, a sister, and a daughter. Today, she's decided to make changes in her life to do something different. Today, Marilyn Grimes has finally decided to be herself. First, she has to find out who that is. I like stuff like this. Girl power. Okay, now on to the non-kitty related items from the 99 cent only. The good sense vanilla scented trash baggies. Y'all have heard me like, say I like a lot. Uh, wow, I really didn't get anything interesting here. Potty paper. And two of these giant big roll paper towel paper towels I got two of them and then my pack of bird seed because I told you guys I'm trying to attract wild birds in my yard with the hopes that they will poop everywhere and the next season I have blue bonnets that's what I'm hoping 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 is going to happen and with any luck yay um I have seen lots and lots of blue jays and a couple of robins out here so uh nature willing I'll have some uh, wildflowers growing in my yard next summer but that is everything i just wanted to share my my kitty homecoming with you guys and uh i'm gonna go ahead and put all this up because just like in my drifting video i want to clear as much space as i possibly can for that it's a bitsy teeny tiny little thing to walk around without being hidden by a whole bunch of stuff so thanks for watching i will talk to you guys very very soon and now that i have another reason to go into a dollar tree i'm sure my dollar tree calls are gonna be a whole lot bigger but until next go around. Thanks for watching again. Bye.